Hello and welcome to the first of many tutorials that will come where I will try to explain some of the process that goes along into creating um, print ready files for Threadless. Well, first of all, scan your image at a 300 dpi resolution. This way you're gonna have a, um, a file that will be suitable for printing later. Turn your image into a grayscale image and uh, now what we what we want to do is we want to get rid of some of the unwanted details. For doing so, adjust your your levels and uh, make your image a little bit brighter. Then, with the paintbrush, what you want to do is you want to paint uh, with white a lot of those. Um, little dots and uh, unwanted details that maybe you didn't see at first but that uh, they they always appear in your design after you scan it especially at high resolution so uh, after that we want to uh, adjust the levels and make the blacks uh, even more black uh, as a way to to put so um, now we want to uh, turn the image into a bitmap image so now what it makes is that you will have only either black blacks or whites you're not gonna you're not gonna have a grayscale image then turn your image back to grayscale again now what we want to do is we want to select uh, only the blacks for doing so you're gonna go to uh, select color range and the easiest way to pick the blacks is to pick white at first and then select invert now we're gonna uh, copy and we're gonna paste that selection onto a new layer and now we want to get rid of the background for doing so, select all the background, put white as your background color, and then erase it. Now what we have is our line work as a separated layer, we're gonna name it color1, and then the good thing is that we can change the color of that layer as uh, we can pick any color that we want but first for doing so I'm sorry we're gonna have to turn this image into an RGB image and please don't flatten it because you wanna keep all the layers now if we go to effects color overlay as you can see you can pick any color and then you can change the color uh, at any time this is a very useful uh, and fast thing to do so we have uh, our design here and then we want to start coloring it uh, for doing so create a color and, and name that layer for each color that you're gonna apply, apply. and what you want to do is pick we're gonna pick uh, yellow in this case for the Sun and then you want to uh, pick the paintbrush and please always use uh, pure black so as you can see we are now painting the layer uh, but with the color overlay effect on why we are uh, choosing black because when you send your file over Threadless, I mean they can do that, but uh, it, it is it is best if you if you do it yourself. When you send any um, any design to the printers, you're gonna need all the layers to be pure black for the printers to uh, to actually work with that. So. Now what you're seeing is that I created another layer, I applied the color overlay effect and now we are 
painting with black again uh, this little wave over here but I think this is at least for me this is the easiest and fastest way to create designs for threadless um, if you're using spot colors uh, because this way as you can see you can change the color at any time 